Well, we tried to do a little digging yesterday after we got it off the trailer and she decided to quit on us. And we had to bleed the fuel system again and we got her gone again, but uh, we keep losing our fuel system prime. So I was a little leery that we had an injection pump problem or something a little more drastic going on. Came out today to look at it at lunchtime here. Poke it a little bit. It looks like somebody replaced the main fuel line with like a brake line. A small one at that. This goes to the transfer pump. You probably saw it on the other side. And I was going to go ahead and take this fitting out. And get probably a new straight barb fitting and put just a hose on it. And when I put the wrench on it. She's loose. Whole line's moving. They tightened that brake line in there. And they didn't make sure this adapter was tight. And I think we're sucking air right there. So it's a real here's your problem kind of moment. And I hope this fixes our fuel injection pump getting air in it. Because it's going to has the ability to suck air right there. Because... Uh, the feed line isn't submerged in fuel. It's got an air gap there. So I'm going to tighten this up, prime it again, and give it a go. Well, we ran into another problem. So I removed that uh, modified brake line somebody put on there and I opened the petcock and the fuel is barely dripping out. So I believe the petcock is clogged with a bunch of crap probably. It's interesting. There we go. Look at all that good stuff. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's better. I think it actually comes out of the pet cock now. After we removed all the obstructions from the valve on the fuel tank, we were able to get fuel to flow through the valve and we reinstalled the old brake line just to get the tractor up and going again. We used it a little bit to level out the large dirt pile and do a little grading in the backyard, but ultimately we wanted to replace the valve with a new valve since it was missing the strainer. And that's what you're going to see in the next steps. backed it up on the hill here and lowered the outriggers on some blocks to try to get as much fuel as possible in the fuel tank to 
go to the front of the fuel tank and right now we're going to drain the fuel at the petcock valve and we're going to replace the petcock from yesterday's tractors and our new fuel line. The fuel line was about $10 and the petcock was about $8 and it came with a new strainer. This is the part that's missing on the existing tractor. It helps fuel uh, go down into the valve while keeping goo out of the valve itself. So when it's on here, fuel can enter from anywhere along here. But without it, any small piece of material or debris that goes over the hole or in the hole will clog the petcock. So if you look closely, the fuel's dripping out but it's just very slowly dripping out. We got our catch bucket beneath it there. But she's barely coming out. It's probably, probably three quarters of the way clogged again. Now we got our new pet cock wrapped with tape, Teflon tape. We got our screen or strainer firmly installed and we're gonna throw it back into the tank. Now it's time to install the new hose. As I said earlier, it has uh, ferrules on the end. That's what seals it, so we don't need to put any thread tape on these. I already have the new uh, petcock installed in the gas tank. So now we just need to run this from the petcock to the lift pump. gonna lightly start each end to make sure it's ran the right way before I tighten it. Try again. A ticket all right here we go new petcock new fuel line to the lift pump and we bled the fuel system but we just bled it at the output side of the lift pump and of course put fuel back in we're gonna see what happens
Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed watching me bring this Massey Ferguson tractor back to life, doing a little bit of troubleshooting on it, and repairing the fuel system, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more content coming out. If you uh, follow along on my Instagram page or on the Facebook page, you'll know uh, what the upcoming videos are going to entail. But we have a few more issues. You might even have been able to spot them uh, in this video when the tractor was in operation. A few hiccups and things that just uh, need fixed before we can really put it to work in our trenching project. So we're going to repair those in the upcoming videos and then we're going to put it to work uh, trenching in some drainage tile. So stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again, everyone.